Hello and welcome back to JD Science Prep. Today we are starting something new and they are called quiz sessions. So in this one we are going to be focusing on balancing chemical equations. So how this will work is I am going to show you four different equations that you can balance. So if you want to pause the video, work through them and then allow me to go through them with you here in a few seconds. Or if you want to, you can also just wait for me to start going through them right now. Here we go. So to start, we have number one. We have calcium hydroxide reacting with aluminum chloride to create aluminum hydroxide and calcium chloride. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off my AlCl3 with a 2. Okay, so what that means is I'm going to have 2 Al and six chlorine on the left side. And I'm now going to work on my aluminum on the right side. So I'm gonna put a two here as well. So I have two aluminum, and now I have two multiplied by three, so six hydroxide groups on the right side. So I'm gonna put a three over here as well. So now that three applies to the calcium as well as our OH group which is gonna have six, so we are balanced there. Now finally, we can take a look at my calciums on the left side, we have three, and I need three on my right side, so I'll put a three in front of calcium chloride. And just to check my chlorides, we have three multiplied by two, so we have six. That looks good to me. Now looking at number two, we have potassium chlorate decomposing into potassium chloride plus oxygen gas. So I look here and I see that I have one potassium, one chlorine, and three oxygen right now. And on the right side, what my eyes are drawn to is my oxygen because I only have two. So I know that I am probably going to need a two in front of potassium chlorate so that I have now two potassium, two chlorine, and six oxygen. So how I can get six oxygen on the right side, I can put a three in front of O2. And finally, I will put a two in front of KCl to finish up that balancing. Looking at number three now, we have sodium oxide plus carbon dioxide to create sodium carbonate. So on the left side, I look and I have two sodium one oxygen, one carbon, and two more oxygen for a total of three. On the right side, I have two sodium, one carbon, and three oxygen. If I compare those numbers, folks, it appears to be already balanced. So if you want to, you can put all ones in the spaces, or you can probably just leave them blank as well. And finally, just finishing up our quiz session here, we have propane in addition to oxygen gas to create carbon dioxide and water in a complete combustion reaction. Now I'm going to start with a one in front of my fuel, and that means I'm going to have three carbon and eight hydrogen on the left side. Let's see if we can match that on the right. So I'll put a three in front of carbon dioxide and that'll give me three carbon on the right. And finally, I am going to put a four in front of water to have eight hydrogen on the right side as well. Now we have to see if we can balance our oxygen. So here on the right side, we are gonna have six in CO2 with a three in front of it, and adding four more to that from water for a total of 10 oxygen on the right side and we can in fact get 10 oxygen on the left by putting a five in front of O2. Okay folks, that has been our first quiz session. I hope it has helped and if it did, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.